So, so I, I wanted to know the ruling on watching videos that may have some beneficial aspects in them, but also contain a uh, major shake. So after searching for an answer, I found a clip of yours to a question, which was that is watching a TV show that contains shirk an act of shirk. So you answered that this is not shirk unless you believe in it. But this is a major sin. But for another answer, which was uh, if a presenter on YouTube is wearing a tar visa, so is it uh, is the content like okay to watch and and then you like I uh, said this is permissible. So like uh, I can't tell the difference between the answers because of my low level of understanding. So can you please explain the difference between these two answers? Okay, first of all, I don't remember what I said yesterday, let alone in previous videos. So don't quote me on that. Second of all, I'm not infallible. I may say things and I was wrong and you cannot take what I say as something divine something that is Quran or Sunnah. No, we are human beings. We make mistakes. Third of all, what I say in an answer may fit only that answer, but it differs with another questioner. So they should not confuse the two. Don't relate questions to your issue when you don't have, as you've said, the proper knowledge to analyze and figure out whether this fits you or not. Ask a specific question for yourself and move along. Don't compare other answers to yours because it may differ due to a slight difference in the question. Like in the case of the famous story of Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, when a man came to him said, is there any repentance for a, for a person who kills another? He said, no, and he left. 10 minutes later, another man comes and says, is there any repentance for a man who kills another? And he says, yes. Who prevents him from repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal? So his students were shocked. He said, identical questions, different answers. He said, the first one came with sparks coming out of his eyes. I knew that he was intending to kill. So he's asking, whether there is room for repentance so that he would attempt and go ahead with killing someone else. So I said, no, to prevent him from killing. The other one came with remorse and tears filling his eyes. And I knew that he has already committed the crime of murder. And I did not want to block him from getting back to the straight path and seeking Allah's forgiveness. So I told him the answer. So it's the same question, different answers. Fourthly, when a person wears a ta'weedha, which is an amulet, this is an act of shirk on his own. I'm not committing shirk. If he's a Hindu, if he's a super Sufi, if he's a grave worshiper, this is on his own. So is looking at him committing shirk? No, this is totally different than when I watch a clip of video where people say, words of kufr or shirk or commit uh, a black magic or predict the future, which are acts of kufr in front of me and I am watching. So these are two different issues, Akhi. Basically speaking, kufr and shirk are things related to conviction. So if you watch these things without any conviction, it's a major sin, but it, it does not take you out of the fold of Islam and Allah Azza knows best. Abdul